Greetings and welcome to my channel. What you are looking at is a barometric uh, draft regulator and it is uh, 24 inches more or less and its provenance is a little sketchy. I think it was put in at the earliest the 70s maybe even before then um, when this thing was oil fired. Uh, they converted it to gas, but they left this thing alone. Um, there's the adjusting weight. Uh, this is the outer rim there. As you can see, it's a quarter inch or more, maybe five sixteenths inch thick. And this sucker is heavy. This is built. Um, it's seen better days. Um, So it wasn't very accurate as far as uh, controlling uh, the draft in this system. So uh, we uh, go ahead and we got and removed it. And this is what we put in. I think this is the largest one that the field makes. It's uh, 24 inches um, um, end to end. And... Uh, we had a heck of a time getting it in. As you can see, I had to uh, trim away an inch and a half worth of uh, brick on this side uh, to get it in. Um, there's where you add the, uh, my hand can give a scale, and the weights and the uh, fluids going in is a 24 inch welded uh, 18 gauge is pretty massively built. Uh, let's see if you can. Uh, there's the seam there. There's the model and instructions. Uh, this can be used for oil, gas, or coal. Uh, the gas, excuse me, the oil units have a bracket here and here and uh, something here to keep it from swinging out. The gas is double swing. So this is how it would swing if it were, uh, had a, a flu blockage. And this is how it would swing if it's uh, doing its job of um, regulating the draft. There's the uh, business end of the um, of the boiler, uh, one of the boilers, and I think you can see the hole where we use to uh, stick our probe. Uh, let's see, it's right about there. And um, let's get another shot inside. We had to, I had to cut this to uh, fit because this was grossly out of round. That was another bit of fun. And let's see, let me stick it way back in here. We can practically crawl in here. There's the outlet for one of the boilers. And that's the chimney it's firing into. It's a massive chimney. Right now, it's um, it's practically uh, pulling my hat off my head here because uh, the draft is, is pretty strong. Uh, it's a four-story um, uh, masonry stack. There's a Berkey water heater there with the uh, draft hood on it, which um, is, of course, open all the time. So what we're going to do, you'll see that's a, the uh, quiescent state right now. And what we're going to do is we'll fire the boiler, and you'll see it start to uh, open more and more as the draft increases. And that's what it's supposed to do. Right now, the, the draft is what it is, and as uh, it changes, minute by second by second, this is supposed to modulate it in order to keep the draft at the um, the burner head. So this is the boiler that we're firing this year. Uh, this boiler is shut down. This boiler is fired, and so that's a backup. 
And here we go over to the Tecmar. And we're gonna switch it to manual override. You'll hear the relay click. The burner will start its purge cycle, which is about a minute and a half. And it will start low fire and go to high fire. And then we will watch the barometric work. I don't know if I'll be able to talk over that. So here we go. Oh, yeah, those are uh, block blue switches there. We hope to mount these here. So if in the very unlikely event that this chimney collapses, uh, which would probably take a Richter scale of six earthquake to bring this thing down, um, then that would shut off the, uh, the boiler. So that's the back view the burner running side view rather and probably in about 30 seconds or less uh, you should hear the uh, trial for ignition and uh, the boiler ramp up and yep, there we go so it responded very nicely and you'll see as the unit heats up as the, the stack heats up. We'll draw more and more draft. And the final draft was the, uh, the standard point negative 0 0.03 inches of water column. Uh, that should do nicely. That should do very nicely. This is one of the largest uh, barometrics I think I've ever installed. I don't think I'll ever get one much bigger than this. Uh, very unlikely. Um, I think it's the biggest one that they make in stock. They probably make them bigger, but they're probably custom ordered with price to match. This was one was already four figures, uh, low four figures to uh, just the cost of, of this unit there. Um, it's truly a massive uh, barometric. So I think we're going to shut this bad boy off and sign off. As always, I really appreciate your questions, your comments, your experiences. If, uh, if you'd like to add something with your experience, please, by all means, uh, really appreciate it. That's how we all learn. And uh, thank you again, and uh, stay safe and be well.